What's up, everybody? My name is Arcagus, and tonight I am taking my first look at Star Trucker, a game I've been low-key looking forward to for a long time. I am an avid simulation fan and also happen to have a passion for logistical and tactical games from European and American truck simulators to Transroad USA. I have no idea where Star Trucker falls in such a broad spectrum of games, but I've been looking forward to trying it out and finding out for myself. And as of this evening, the full release is available on Steam. So let's dive right in and take a look at Star Trucker. Okay, so press A. It looks like it defaults to the controller. I don't know if we can use our other controllers yet. We're not going to worry about that for now. We're just going to play kind of the default experience with the Xbox controller. Okay, we are playing in 32 by 9, so we may have to adjust the field of view. I'm going to go Ultra. And we're going to lower the audio just a bit. And we're going to pray. That the music is uh, YouTube friendly. Every time I hear music like this, I just shudder to think what YouTube's going to say the next morning when I post my videos. All right, let's start a new game. All right, I'm very tempted to go mechanic because I am a mechanic, but. I'll go ahead and go with the recommended settings for now. And maybe this will help me decide what I want to do in my playthrough. I will be streaming this game later tonight, so... So I need to exit my seat. Oh, I'm liking this already. Oh, we can interact with these. Those are UCCs. I have no idea what UCCs are, but I want to find out. All right, wear a suit. Okay, there needs to be some sort of transitional period where you actually put on your suit. There has to be some sort of time crunch where you can either put your suit on safely or Put your suit on very quickly, but risk making a mistake. Right, pop outside to make repairs, so we don't need to pick up anything. How do we pop outside? Go through the airlock. Got some hole breaches. Whoops. Okay, looks like left stick is just thrust. I like this. I don't seem to be carrying any tools, but okay. Or material. Where's my other? Ah, uh, here we go. Okay, so it looks like we have two resources in our suit. We have power and we have oxygen. That seems to make sense. And also, well, what's happening? Oh, 
Was that supposed to happen, or did I screw up somehow? Can I turn? Yeah. Left bumper and right bumper turn twists. Okay. I still have a mission, or my, my objective is still to get in my truck. However... Oh yeah, suit controls are up in the corner. So the good news is I can stream this in 16x9 and still play in 32x9. The UI is optimized for displaying in at least 16x9. That's what I'm guessing based on what I'm seeing with this HUD. Okay. I am flying straight towards my truck as quickly as I can. And that airlock is getting further and further away from me. I don't think this is the expected experience. And I have no desire to... There's no saves. And why would there be? I mean, we just started. Uh, we're assuming that was a glitch. Just an unfortunate, you know, oversight. I'm sure it's not the, I'm not the first person to report it or had to deal with it. Let's see if we can do this in a much more expedient way to avoid whatever happened to cause that. Can you save your progress? Yeah, you can. Okay, so it looks like you have lateral thrust, but you don't have up and down thrust. You have forward and back thrust. Which I guess makes sense. So somehow that guy came and hit my truck. We missed this time, but that's what happened. Somebody came and hit my truck and then just started dragging it. At first, I thought it was a scripted event. I thought, oh, you lose your truck, you have to start over. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. You lose your truck, you have to start over with a, you know, a broken down truck and you owe money. And, and that's how you start the game. I figured that's that's what was happening. Then when I realized, no, my truck's getting away and they expect me to go catch it and I'm not, eh, that's unfortunate. If that's the only thing that happens in this game, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be quite happy. Core systems, maglock controls, gravity compensator, oxygen generator, suit charger, climate regulator. All right, so my shoot suit should be charging automatically, I'm assuming. There's a panel here. I'd love to know how to get into the, these panels. I imagine you have to get into these panels for maintenance. I really hope that's what I'm... I really hope this game is what I, what I hope it is. Like, what the, the things that I'm passionate about are the things, the menial tasks that... Not many people care for. Even the bed's not interactive, but hopefully that's just because of the beginning tutorial nature of the gameplay right now. 
All right. All patched up? Good. Now, before you get back on the road, it might be wise to check your CB radio. All right. Interact with fellow truckers by using your CB radio. If you see the symbol, pick up the mic. Hold right trigger to view a list of responses, then press either X, Y, or A to select a reply. Mm. Put the mic back once you're done to gain control of your truck. Grab I like that. Give me a holler. I'll let you know if you're coming through. That's a 10 2 partner. Loud and clear. With that done, I guess you should be on your way. Okay. Press right trigger to accelerate using the main thrusters. To brake and reverse, press left trigger. Use left stick to fire maneuvering thrusters and turn the truck. Okay. Use left bumper and right bumper to roll left and right. You can switch to an external view by pressing up on the D-pad. The jump gate up ahead should get you where you need to go. Safe travels, and I'll catch you on the other side. Okay, let's go ahead and turn off the camera and the uh, performance view. Actually, we'll leave the performance view on for a little while longer. Just want to see system performance as we go through some of the gameplay elements. Jump gates allow you to move between locations within the galaxy. With your truck correctly aligned, the gate will automatically power up. Once all gate lights are green, use the lever above your head to make a jump. Okay, delivery point is up ahead. Drive your cargo to its designated drop zone to complete a haulage contract. The drop zone will change color to indicate the trailer is within the safe area. Oh, that's a lot of drift. How do you switch view? That's not bad. I thought I might be torquing the haulage. It looks like it's got a pretty flexible joint. Turn off your truck's magnetic lock system to unhitch from trailers. This can be done by using the maglock lever inside the cab. Make sure the entire trailer comes to a stop within the highlighted green zone or you won't get paid. All right, we're completely stopped. We got paid. One hop starter haul. Standard delivery of cotton blocks to Cargo Pal and Atlas Prime. Base contract payment, 900 XP. Careful driving, 0 XP. <laughs> Early delivery, 0 XP. But fuel used for 18. Distance travel, 43 kilometers. All right, 
two minutes, 13 seconds, I'm assuming. I hope that wasn't two hours. Jeez. My wife would kill me. All right. It was 2 a.m. when I started making this video, so two hours would be death for me. All right. Great job. Famous should already be with you. But if you feel like spending some of that hard-earned cash, just head on over to Palmview Station. You'll find they've got supplies, a few jobs on the board, and the best home-cooked soya protein this side of Alpha Centauri. Now that you've learned the basics, we've enabled dashboard controls and core truck systems. For further information, please take the time to read the user manual located in your glove compartment. I love this game. Alright, dock with bay number three. Accept a contract. Put on some music. music is friendly. Let's just play it safe. It's probably too late if it's not safe. So how does the game handle perpetual motion? Am I compensating for my drift in the other directions when I turn, or do I need to use my thrusters to compensate? All right, how do I dock at bay? Oh, it just tells you. Use the docking camera to align your truck with the docking bay. Oh, you have to back yourself in. Whenever close enough and the maglock system will become available. When you're in position, pull the maglock lever to lock with the target. Okay, I need to back. How precise does it have to be? Maglock ready. It said Maglock ready a minute ago. Did I drift too far? Oh, 
the whole backing up thing. See, now it says not aligned. So did I drift too far? Yeah. Okay, so if you hold down... If you hold down the trigger once, it'll... it'll like left trigger, it'll decelerate all the way to zero without going into reverse. I'm doing good here. Okay. Lock and dock. Dock with your first station. Job boards provide a list of contracts available in the local area. As you earn certification skills, that list will, will expand. Giving you access to new job types and cargo to haul. Keep in mind the bonuses and deductions will offer will differ between job types and harsh penalties will be issued for abandoning hauls or canceling jobs. All right, automotive scrap two hop expires in two hours and ten minutes. Near it, so I'm, I'm assuming it's one kilometer away to pick it up. Then you're hauling it 7.6 light years. Payout's 1,945. That's a pretty good payout. It's the best one they got. I say we take it. This freight contract is entered into as of 8-2-3023. As for your logistics company and Arcagus, collectively referred to as parties and individual as parties. So blah, 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 blah. All right. So we can only take one of one contract right now. All right. Pick up automotive. Get to PVS five. Oh, it's just a coffee break, Eddie. Ain't no one out here with us anyway. Looking for PVS five. That's true. It's been pretty quiet today. I missed it. Yeah? 
Are they talking about me? Switch to docking camera and approach carefully. Once you're within range and aligned correctly, use the maglock lever to hitch to the trailer. Power levels seem low or exhausted for one or more of your truck systems. Be sure to replace power cells at regular intervals to prevent system failures, job delays, and death. Power levels. What's happening? Where am I? Did I lose something? What's happening? It looks like grav is at 10%. Is there a way to open? Yeah. Okay, so which one is which? Grav, does it have a picture? Grav looks like the apple. filter, air filter, those are all air filters. Where's Grav? Looks like your gravity compensator is offline. Movement around your cabin will be impacted and damage is likely to occur to poorly stowed items. The system can be found under lower stairs and requires both power and a working UCC to stay active. Seven of 100, where's, so where's my spare power? That's another UCC, so let's store our UCCs. Got a power cell right here. Good. This one, I don't know what we need to do with this. Stow it there for now. We've got an air filter here. I'm going to assume things on the shelf are properly stowed. I don't know. There's another power cell. It looks like a different kind of power cell. This one's 150 versus 100. What did I put in there? 100. All right. Okay, let's see if we can get back into the game. Okay. This whole reverse driving thing 
is a bit of a challenge. Okay. We want to square up. Be enough. Okay. Oh, we're pushing it away. That's why the alignment's off. Causing it to drift. It's about to collide. Yep, it collided. So how do I how do I correct that? It's not even in the bay anymore. First of all, the fact that this can happen in this game is amazing. Like the the opening sequence where my ship, my truck just got launched away from me, that was unfortunate. But the fact that I can accidentally knock knock my cargo out of its bay through my poor inexperienced driving. That's amazing. That's a very well it's a very well made game that has that kind of flexibility to account for bad driving like that without breaking its logic. menu to access the galactic map at any time. From here you can plan delivery routes and view information about locations. Alright, we're in Atlas Prime. Looks like we need to get to Edgeburg. Two, two jumps. Ooh, solar storms, electrical storms, anomalies, traders, body shops, upgrade shops. Good, 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 good. Star route, hyperhighway, plotted journey. Okay, so our journey's already plotted. OK. 
Okay, how do I get to Edinburgh? We need to head for Medusa 6. Is there... There we go. All right, so Interstate 15 to Medusa 6, not to Purity. So Interstate 15 is there. That's Purity. So presumably, what is that? Where's the entrance to that? I think my instinct is to push forward to go up and push down to go down, which is opposite what the game wants to do. All right. Medusa 6. There we go. 5.2 kilometers. Astroco fill fuel is 3 kilometers. Let's go fuel up on our way to Medusa 6. truck what did we hit something what could we have hit or is it just regular wear and tear I'm not sure I don't know what to do here, so I'm just going to, yeah, I'm going to fly for those. amazing if I have to get out and actually like fuel up my ship. Somebody try and talk to me. Nope. Okay, so let's let's see what I have to do. Did you remember to equip your suit? might be that my truck's just not in all the way. I really wanted that to be a thing, though, where you have to, like, fuel up your ship. I've got a hull breach? Oh, 
Man, my truck looks beat up. Okay, so maybe I'm just not in enough. I just need to pull forward a bit. money do I have? Okay, well, that's that. I'm glad I got out, because then if might not have found that that hole breach. So I'm assuming that's what that klaxon sound was. Just let me know that I had a, a fault. Stop your truck at a suitable distance and the power gate will, will power up. If you're having trouble making, make sure you are facing towards the gate and use the stop signs to align yourself. Okay. Remember gates between zones and some sectors will stay inactive until you get clearance from the DIV. Okay, I need to back up. Where are those stop signs? There they are. Edgeburg. So is it faster to cut through the business hub or do we just drift out and oh sorry okay good to know I'm assuming I'm following that traffic lined up and ready for our final jump.
There we go. So this how do we how do we navigate this this is wow I'm starting to miss my eye tracking from elite dangerous all routes I go around. Drop off automotive scrap in bay CL G five. Debris, that's probably what I hit before. My bad. I hope I don't have to back it in there. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, it kind of does look like I have to back it in. We'll see. Careless driving, damaged client property. I lost all the money on that. Oh no.
I got a skill point. Just in time jobs. Unlock jobs with tight deadlines, plus 5% XP for just in time jobs, plus 10% cash for delivering just in time jobs. So, what happened to the cargo? I guess when I pushed it out, and maybe I, I was also late, I don't know. It didn't feel like two hours, but I don't know how it compensates for time passage. So, it could have been. So just in time and fragile loads, I probably would do just in time over fragile loads just until I get better at the driving aspect. But yeah, I'm really liking this game so far. I I know I'm, I'm not the best when it comes to driving, especially with the next box controller. Um, I'll see what I can do about getting my other controls working. I'm not sure if that's an option or not, at least not yet, but I knew no, I do know that the devs are working on an update based on early feedback that uh, they are hearing. At least that's what I saw in the Steam comments when I uh, picked this up. So who knows what uh, what's what's ahead for this game. It's, it's worthwhile now. Uh, I strongly recommend this game for anybody who likes truck simulators, likes logistics games, or otherwise just, you know, enjoys this kind of uh, simulation. But, uh, yeah, this is Star Trucker. Thanks for watching. And if you like this content, maybe check out my Twitch or YouTube stream. I will be streaming this uh, in my morning. I live in Taiwan, so... My morning is evening time in most English-speaking countries. Um, and I will be streaming this tonight. So check that out. Be sure to like, subscribe, and or follow whichever platform you do watch me on. And until next time, be safe.